Hello there. In this video, I want to demonstrate how easy it can be to use Blender and ChatGPT in combination to actually write new script in the text editor of Blender. What we'll be doing is first importing a model. Well, I'm actually going to go to a 3D model marketplace and find a 3D model that I'll then automate using ChatGPT. So I'm just going to find a free model. Filter free. This looks awesome. So I'll download this model. All right, so I've got the model downloaded. Now I'm going to import into Blender. So I'll go to File, Import, and it was an OBJ file. You can see I've got my info panel down here. The info panel is really important because any action we do here, it shows us the script of the action. For example, if we were to expand our controls over here, and if I turned on Bloom, for example, we see this new script that was written here, and we can actually copy this script. If I control C or copy, and if I wanted to keep this in my text editor over here, so this is written now in correct Python syntax. If we were to run this script, it would turn on Bloom for our scene, which we don't need, but that's just an example. So what we're going to be doing today is actually using ChatGPT to write code, and we'll be copying and pasting directly into the text editor. All right, so I've got my 3D model here, and if we, I've never seen this model before. If I go to edit mode, there's a bunch of vertices. So being a free model, this model already has really nice topology. But let's say we needed to manipulate some of the edges and we didn't want to go in and select them one by one. So let's see here if we can get a script that will select all of the edges that are longer than average for this mesh. So if I want to be able to select all long edges, so I'm going to need to be in object mode for this to start the script. Look at that. It'll calculate the average edge length, summing the lengths. It'll then exit edit mode, leaving the edges highlighted. So I'm just going to paste that script directly into my text editor here and see if I can run the script. So I received an error here about edge length and how it is not automatically signed as an attribute to an object. So I just point that out to ChatGPT. So I'm going to copy that code, paste it into my text editor. I'll select my object so that it's active, run the script. Look at that. So this actually wrote a script that selected all of my edges that were longer than average, which appears to be a majority of them because so many little edges are packed into these areas. You can see these were less than average length, and these are more than average length. This never would have been possible to write in 30 seconds without an AI assistant like ChatGPT. Now, why would I need this? Maybe you need to set your materials to a different appearance, for example. Look at that. So within seconds, I was able to select all of these tiny little areas on the airplane and color them with a different texture. So 
So here's just one use case of why I would have needed that code that ChatGPT created for me. I was able to quickly select all of these little vertices. That would have taken me a really long time to paint this jet fan, this turbine blade. If I go to edit mode, you can see selecting all of these faces would have been insane. So how could we use this again to manipulate our mesh? So let's see if it's possible to animate our object as if it actually is realistically traveling like a spaceship. I'll go again, copy, paste into our text editor. So it created some keyframes, but our vector wasn't defined. So we've literally created a random flying pattern out of all of these keyframes. See that the pattern is indeed random. Well, working with this script, let's see if we can get it to animate some stars flying past our uh, little animated ship, so it looks like it's flying through space. So we can see that the script did indeed place our little spheres. So I hope I showed you something new today. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Otherwise, I hope that you can find ways to change your Blender workflow or any other program that takes script because using AI if you write script can really change what becomes possible. This is really inspiring.